Question 17. So we have two charged particles placed a distance apart from each other. One has got charge plus Q and mass M, and the other has charge plus 2Q and mass 2M. The charges are initially held stationary, but are then released. Find an expression for the maximum speed of the particle with mass 2M. So let's first of all draw a diagram to represent the problem here. So we have mass M and mass 2m. This one has a charge of plus q and this one has a charge of plus 2q. The first mass will move with the velocity, let's call that v1, and the second will move with the velocity v2. So we can use the idea of conservation of momentum here. We know that within this closed system, there are no external forces acting, so the momentum must be conserved. So conservation of momentum, we know that m v1 is equal to 2m v2, which allows us to relate v1 and v2. So we can cancel the m's. And we're left with v1 is equal to 2 v2. So let's consider the energy. These particles are moving apart because they have electrostatic potential energy as given to us in the equation above. All of that electrostatic potential energy is being converted into kinetic energy, which is why these particles are moving. So if we consider conservation of energy now, we know that that potential energy, Ep, is equal to the kinetic energy of the first particle, so that's half m v1 squared plus the kinetic energy of the second particle, because the potential energy here is being shared between both the particles. So that's half 2m multiplied by v2 squared. Let's factorise that equation. Ep equals half m multiplied by v1 squared plus 2v2 squared. Now we can substitute in our value for v1. Remember, we're interested in v2 here, the speed of the, the mass 2m. So let's get rid of v1 by substituting our earlier equation in. So we get half m multiplied by 2v2, all squared, plus 2 v2 squared. Be careful here that this 2 is within the brackets, this 2 is not. So we can simplify that to half m 4 v2 squared plus 2 v2 squared And we'll eventually get 3m v2 squared. Now that's half of the equation. We now need to equate that to our equation for potential energy. We know our potential energy, Ep, is equal to k multiplied by q1. So k multiplied by q1, which is q multiplied by q2, which is 2q, divided by the separation, which we are calling d. So that can be simplified to 2k 
Q squared divided by D. And we know that that electric potential energy is equal to the kinetic energy that they gain, which we calculated earlier to be 3MV2 squared. So we can rearrange that to get V2 squared is equal to 2K Q squared divided by 3MD. Therefore, V2 is equal to the is equal to Q multiplied by the square root of 2 over 3 K over MD. And that's our expression for V2.